Hey YouTubers, how's it going? Um, something new in the shock today, not this. This is the old. Out with the old, in with the new. This is what I used to use as a homemade kind of concoction so that I could share one shortwave listening antenna with more than one radio. And so it's split two ways and this is, you probably recognize as just a good old TV splitter. And so, I mean, this has served me for months and months, but it's certainly not an ideal solution. Uh, for one thing, the antenna, the frequency range on this does not say that it goes down to the shortwave bands on the low end. It goes up, uh, you know, probably into the gigahertz range because um, this is for cable TV and, and internet. So, I finally decided to bite the bullet and buy something that is the real deal. So, skedaddle over to the ELAD website. Not many uh, vendors actually produce splitters like this. Uh, you'll find a lot of multiplexers out there. But what they do is is split an antenna into different bands. So you'll have a VHF feed and an HF feed. And that's not what I wanted. I use a uh, one shortwave antenna. And the one that I usually use is my PAR NFED SWL. It's a great antenna. I recommend it. And it's way up in my trees, and it's way f away from the house, and I live in a country setting. So it's a really good, quiet antenna. So here it is. Just received this, this today, and this is the ASA-15 from ELAD. I'm trying to get a bit, bit better f angle there. So... It's basically got SO239s, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them. One input, five outputs. So this can manage five shortwave radios or whatever you want to hook onto it to share that one antenna. It uses active separation inside, so everything is isolated. And each antenna here has its own t plus 12 dB amplifier, very low noise amplifiers. And if you find that the antenna gets overloaded or if you want to diminish the uh, signal coming into everything, there is a 15 dB, minus 15 dB uh, attenuator on the input side so you can really uh, switch all of these in and out and um, it's got lots of pretty lights um, it doesn't come with a power supply it comes with a uh, pigtail for 12 volts so you kind of have to figure out how to power it yourself but 12 volts is pretty easy to uh, power in a ham shack like mine and yeah so so far so good it uh it um it's gonna solve a problem that i've been like i say dealing with a compromised solution for many months and now my reception is going to even be better um so cool thanks a lot elad